the day is a symphony. It's a lot of different parts with a lot of different people. And today is about joining all of our stories together to celebrate the one deeper, truer story behind them all. The one that inspires and breathes life into hope and to all of us. Today is not just about a wedding, but it's the first day of forever. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this beautiful day that we get to celebrate in William Morgan. We just ask that you bless today, bless their entire marriage and their lives going forward. We lift them up to you and we just praise you for your goodness. Okay, turn around. You look fantastic. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. We yes. gotta do this together. We do. You are the sovereign, majestic, all-powerful, beautiful God. And you and your sovereignty have brought Emily and Morgan together at this time. God, we know that you have purpose in it. We know that it is for their good and for your glory. Hey. Yeah, how you doing? Good, how are you feeling? <laughs> Did my lip sting mark? No. <laughs> the rest of the day, especially God, this ceremony. May it be God glorifying, may it be Christ exalting, and God, may it be filled with joy. Mm -hmm. Father, I pray that you would put a blanket of peace. It is you who have brought them together, and it is you that will keep them together. God, we praise you. We thank you. God, fill us mm -hmm. up with your Holy Spirit and with the joy that can only come from you. The reason we like to go into weddings is we like to be reminded of the truth that we love real love. It's so rare in this world because so often we enter into such conditional relationships. The beauty of following Jesus is that he loves us unconditionally and then invites us to do the same. I love you guys' story. It's funny, it's silly, it has a lot of bad dad jokes in it. To get her number, he says, I quote, I've read the book of Numbers, but I don't have yours. <laughs> Morgan, will you take Emily to be your wedded wife, to live together in marriage? Do you promise to love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her in sickness and in health? I do. I do. Morgan, you may kiss your breath. <laughs>
When Emily first told us about Morgan, we sensed something different was afoot. The way she spoke about him was special. We quickly recognized Morgan's character. We saw that he is very resilient, very able to adapt to circumstances. So happy to have you as part of the family. We love you. You're going to be a great son-in-law, and we know you're going to be a great husband to Emily, and you'll cherish her just as Karen and I do. I didn't know what to think when I first met Morgan. It really didn't take me long to see what Emily saw in him, and even less time for me to see just how smitten he was with her. Since then, I've had the pleasure of seeing their love grow into what it is today. Since you have been in her life, I've seen Emily become more confident, grounded, and happier than I've ever seen her before. Emily, you are the most kind, loving, and caring person I know. And I can honestly say I'm a better person because of you. To Emily and Morgan, 